Okay, guys, tonight we're gonna be doing a video on MW2 with the RTX 360 Ti. We're gonna be starting off with 1080p on the lowest settings. Jump into the graphics settings real quick. 1080p. And we'll be playing with the lowest preset. There we go. Right, let's jump into it. We're getting one. 120 FPS, so I got me already. Getting 130 FPS in the lowest setting, that's kinda. kinda low, I would imagine. Because we had. 180, 190. Oh my god. We had like 180, 190 with uh, 30, 80. We're only getting 110 to 120. Almost 130 with the 3060 Ti. Uh oh. I had a set of them when we were loading in. Who's shooting you? The enemy controls two objectives. Enemies take it out, but. Thought it was a guy, the little statue. That's a guy, though. We've lost all objectives. We have Reloaded. to turn this around now. How do we lose all the objectives? Okay, let's try. Securing Charles. All right, now playing the game at balanced settings. Hard point. Here we are. We're getting around 120 to 140 FPS at low settings, and okay, already getting flashbanged. Sitting at 110 to 125 FPS now. Getting a lot of weird looking pop ins right now at balanced settings. I don't really notice with the 3080. Hmm. Nice little double kill there. No, I tried, I tried, I tried. I was so close. Can I flank him by any chance? Open the store for me, boys. Thank you, teammate. Oh! Enjoy that. I'm What? He wasn't even shooting it and he hard still, still got the kill? That's a bit weird. Kinda of trapped into that little spawn over here. Okay, well. So VRM is sitting at 5 gigs. We have 3 UBs left over. And we're only at 10 to medium settings, so. It's a bit worrying. I already know at extreme settings we're sitting at around 8 to 9 gigs on a 3080. So we might run into a VRAM uh, limit issue at even 10 AP to be honest. Where are they? And why are we still sitting in here? Enemy UAV active. Great. Bad aim, bad aim, but we got the the kill, that's all that matters. Uh oh. God, the mines are such cursed. God, you can't reload cancel on this. Changing back. Enemy UAV What's up, dude? Upgrade the UAV online. Deploying portable radar. Secure Pushing it up area. to the ultra settings. Game just crashed. Alright. Finding out ultra settings now. Um I'm gonna be avoiding DLSS at 1080p. Really no need for DLSS in this game for this card. Even at 1440p, DLSS doesn't look the best as I saw with the 3080. But at 4K, it's definitely viable and it does look pretty good as well. Getting a lot of stuttering right now as well at ultra settings uh, 1080p. Definitely acting in kind of a strange way on this system compared to the 3080 system where it ran with no issues at all, no crashes. No! No, they got me. But yeah, we're getting almost stutters here, we're getting patches here, where it wasn't an issue on... But man, FPS is sitting around 90 to 110 FPS at ultra settings, 1080p. The game's feel isn't the best, it does feel a bit sluggish at this point. I'm um, getting a lot more stutters as well, um, which kind of is ruining the experience quite a bit, even though FPS is above 60. 
GPU is fully maxed out as well, obviously. Um, we're not getting bottleneck for the CPU at this point. How am I alive or not? I don't even know. Got the flank on one guy, at least we'll take that. Alright, push it up to max settings. The extreme preset. And here we are, the extreme preset. Alright, now playing the game at 1080p extreme settings. We are sitting at 7.6 gigs of VRM usage, which is very close to the limit of this card, which is 8 gigabytes. This in a 37, you definitely needed more VRM. Um, even a 1080p. Um, FPS is sitting around the 90s to 110s. So quite decent. We wouldn't really lose too much FPS compared to going from low to balanced. We lost a lot more there. But from ultra to extreme, basically the same performance it seems like. I'm kind of trapped here. I can't really push it because they're waiting for me, but... Push it anyway. Look at that guy. Back up a little bit again. Bravo. Changing mag. Oof. The enemy took Bravo. We fired him right there, man. I'm playing a little more camping in this map because this map is basically made for camping. Ready to deploy. How did you get past my little mine? How did he get past this? No, I got killed. They got me. They got me. They got. They got to me. Nice little kill streak, though. We'll take that. The stuttering has definitely calmed down compared to the previous map at ultra settings, where it was happening every couple of seconds, kind of ruining the experience. But at this point, definitely seems a lot better. Oh, they got me. Say it hasn't gone away completely. It is still definitely happening, but just not as bad as what it was. In the previous game, but all three flags are gonna be spawning in some weird Charlie. spots now. Yeah, they're on C. Okay, let's let's go. All right, just because I'm already here and I want to move on to 4040p, I'm gonna kill this guy first. Okay, he's lucky he's not down that hallway. But let's go to enable DLSS, and I'm gonna be using the quality preset at 1080p because it's gonna hopefully look decent. Honestly, it's not too bad. You know what? I take it back. It's not actually that bad at 1080p. Definitely doesn't look like it's running at native res. But it's not super ugly either. I'm gonna tank kill streak right now. Let's get it. This M4 build from the campaign is actually so nice already. Alright, now playing the game at 1440p, lowest settings. Getting a little stutter to start it off with. And only getting 110 FPS. This frame rate looks a bit low to be honest for this kind of card. But I don't know. Not really sure what to expect to be honest, but that body fools me each time I see it. I will be shooting that down, thank you. No, let me shoot it down, please. Don't worry guys, I'll I'll take care of the UAV for us. Alright. There we go, UAV's gone. Alright, now playing the game at 440p balance settings. Let's see what we can get. Now we've fallen below 100 now, we're sitting in the high 80s to the mid 90s now, whereas before we were sitting in the 90s to 110s. Oh, we're getting a lot more stutters again. VRM is back down to 5.4 gigs, so as long as you avoid playing at extreme settings or ultra settings, you should have no issue with your VRM at 440p or 4k. Ah, uh, that's not good. That is real bad right now. Setting I'm gonna throw this and pretend I didn't see him.
Where did he go? Did he jump out the window? Hmm. How do I get upstairs? That's the question. Right here. Perfect. I'm gonna walk up so they can't hear me. Pretty sure we saw people at the windows over here, right? They're dead now. Confirming next hard point. What is he doing Stand over by. there? Hmm, <laughs> the stuttering is back and it's happening quite frequently as well. Yeah, this game is running a lot worse than this card. And it's not like this card is weak or anything. It's very close. It's a pretty powerful card, but yeah, the stuttering just doesn't go away once you go up to those high presets, it seems like. Maybe it will be a patch where we'll iron everything out. I am running this game with an SSD as well, just so you guys know. But if I was going to guess, um, this might be just a one-off since it's only happening on this computer at the moment. Playing at ultra settings, 440p, we are sitting at 70 FPS. Oh, I should have shot him in the head. Man, the stun is getting so much worse as I play. So bad. What is going on with this game? I wouldn't be surprised if it crashes the gun. What are you doing? <laughs> AFK, I'm guessing. Hey. Wouldn't be surprised if we get a crash in a couple of minutes with the way it's running right now. That's how it that's how it went down before when I was playing at 1080p medium settings and I pushed it up to ultra settings, it just straight up crashed. Hello? Oh, there's a second. Mine. Put us over here and just pretend I don't see him. Reloading. You're dead. We've taken the lead. Enemy target Still able to play the game fine though, point. even though it is kind of inconsistent with its performance. Chill out, my friend. Chill out. There we go. There's the game crash. Oh, no, it didn't. It's recovered. Game recovered. It's fine. But only getting 50 FPS. Almost 60 FPS. This performance seems kind of odd. This doesn't seem like... It should be running this bad. I reset the computer, came back, and uh, made sure the drivers are up to date. And the game is doing a lot better at 440p extreme settings. As you can see, uh, I am using the extreme preset now. Before we were getting 55 FPS, almost 60 FPS, and now we're getting 90 FPS. Um, so the game was definitely running into a random issue. We'll go back and I'll place the actual frame rate of all the settings again on the screen at the end of the video so you can go check that out as well because uh, I'm guessing all the stuff that I did at the start will be inaccurate. The game is stuttering though still which is kind of unfortunate that didn't get fixed. Oh my god. We've lost half the field. But back. FPS is doing much much better. Sitting in the 70s to 90s, so definitely a playable experience even at 44 extreme settings. Nah, you guys still. Your is basically maxed out as well, so sitting at 7.5 gigs, but we already saw that coming at 1080p, so there's not much there. Come on, game, hold it together. I saw a couple of posts as well that the driver version could be affecting the stability of the game. And uh, that's what someone's. Oh. That's what's been found out so far. So, um, so maybe the smart thing to do is to not update your drivers yet. Wait for it to get fixed, and then go ahead and push up to the newest driver version. Uh, using DLSS now, getting 99 FPS, 120 FPS. Very nice. Doing much better than before because uh, before I restarted. We were sitting at around 89 FPS, I believe 80 to 90 FPS with the LSS. Getting a lot of screen flickers now though, which is kind of weird. We, yeah, I don't know. Alright, here it is. Playing at 4K low settings. Getting pretty much 80 FPS. Very nice. Playing at 4K low settings still, but I chose uh, performance DLSS. 
So we're gaining around 20 to 30 yeah, FPS with Pokemon CLSS. That screen flicker is really annoying now. It's happening so consistently too. Oh, I... Ooh, that was close. I didn't want to do that fat thing you did. What are you doing? Requesting recon flyover. Copy that. UAV online and over to two objectives secure. Okay, I stole that kill from this guy, but. Did I die again? Killed me. Come on now. We control all objectives. What is this? Enemies taking Bravo. Target area mark. You're cleared hot. That's what counter UAV. Such a little rat for that one. <laughs> you barely see him. Right, we're getting some dips into the 50s now, though. It's not a consistent 60 or 70 FPS. But still, on the frame rate side of things, it is running quite well. Oh, that was a really bad lag spike. Dropped that into the 30s. VRM is sitting at 6 gigs, so I'm doing fine there. Um, we're going to be re to the Poi Ultra and Extreme settings. Okay, can I not the shot, please? But if you do get it, then the game becomes pretty much unplayable with how bad it is. And this is Ultra settings, 4K. Dropping down to the 50s. Ooh, the low 40s even as well at times. This is so bad now. And with the LSS performance, you'll be getting an extra 20 to 30 FPS. So you can just add it to that and you'll be good there. Oh. And it's running not good at all. Oh my god. 30 F 39 FPS. Pretty bad. Okay, I'll enable DLSS just so we can see what it looks like and how it performs. But we should probably get 20 to 30 FPS on top of what we had before. So we're sitting in the 40s and 50s. And now we're sitting in the 60s up to 80s. Not bad. Okay, extreme settings, come on. You can recover. There you go. 40 FPS. Hostile UAV in the area. Not bad. I mean, it is pretty bad, but uh, this isn't a 4K card, so. It's not bad, honestly. This isn't a 4K card. This is mainly a 440p slash 1080p card. So, the fact that it can even run the game at 4K extreme. It's fine by me. Alright, that's it for the video, guys. If you made this far, I appreciate you. And as always, if you like what you see, then a like and a subscribe. See you next time.